if you know what I'm searching for in the search engine, you will not believe it. I'm so I'm searching for the word Sha'aratun min Dibri, which means a hair from his ass. <laughs> I mean <laughs> this is what you get in Islam when you when you are you want to be more Muslim. This is what Islam is about. Okay. <clears throat> We will find it in different place, no problem. <laughs> Islam uh, uh, web.net. This is an official, you know, this I think from Qatar, the government of Qatar. And the Sheikh here, they will answer you about your questions. Fatwa number 212713. This is like the way Chinese they say, and then. إن الشيطان ليأتي أحدكم في صلاته فيأخذ شعرة من دبره. Wow, what is that? Okay, let me translate for you. Brother, this hadith is daif, brother. إن الشيطان ليأتي أحدكم وهو في صلاته فيأخذ بشعرة من دبره فيمدها فيرى أنه أحدث فلا ينصرف حتى يسمع صوتا أو يجد روحا. Hey, any Muslim here have a comment? Shaitan, brother, Shaitan, he go when you are doing a prayer. Let me, I need to, I need to draw it, you know, I mean, for a better understanding. <clears throat> You know, I'm very good in art, you know, I mean, you know, come on, you know the thing. And I, all of you, you know the thing. Let me try to find a better page here. Okay. Maybe here is better. Hold on. Let me go here. <clears throat> so based in the Prophet of Allah, who is the only true Prophet who came as a final Prophet with the final message, the final message from Allah is the following. That when you are praying because we were looking for a picture fit literally the topic better than drawing you know so now based on the hadith when you are praying first of all we need to notice that the prophet is a genius he knew that every abdul ass has hair in it so here under the cover there is hair in case you don't see it by the way but shaitan obviously he can get there you know so here there's hair let us make it thin so like doesn't look like you know a cucumber you know because this is not right you know it's a very thin hair very thin so here there's a very thin hair you know in his ass and this uh, uh, poor abdul praying to allah you know busy with his god shaitan brother he will come from the behind of the abdul according to Prophet Muhammad, and Prophet Muhammad never lied, and he will grab the hair one by one from his anus, which is very harmful. I mean, don't try it. And he will not stop, like he will put his foot in your ass, and he grab one of the hair, and he will not stop until he caused you to fart because when he paid it out like, like you release it like, like because of pain you know like hello you know so shaitan he will grab you from your hair in your ass and all of this is the purpose is to disturb your prayer brother and this is the consequence of this prayer look what happened now the guy you can tell he's in pain he opened his legs like look at his legs how open it is so it's like he's opening the door for shaitan to grab more you know so if we go back to the hadith the book name is Faydul Qadir Sharh al Jami al Sagir al Imam al Manawi value number two page number four four six okay hmm. let us translate to English shall we because you might say it doesn't say that Zibi Translate to English. Oh boy. The translation here is very funny. It says that Shaitan he comes to one while he pray, 
and he take hair from his backbone. <laughs> the, the translation is stupid. It's an anus, the anus. And he will take hair from your anus and he stretch it out and sees, you know, until, until he calls you to fart. You know, the translation here is not too much accurate. So he kept doing that, taking hair from your anus until the wind, brother, like, boom, you know, come from your anus. Now here, if you ask yourself a very, very, very easy question, how in the world, if Muhammad is not a true prophet of God, he knew those things. Those kuffar who say to you that the prophet is not a prophet, now we get them busted with the proof. Hey Muslims, if shaitan he take hair from your anus each time you try to pray, by time you shall be bold. I mean, and do you feel anything? Somebody playing with your anus? And where your prophet he got his anus degree? And now if you fart, Allah, he reject your prayer. Why? Is your prayer delivered with the fart? I mean, does it go with the smell? So this poor guy, he is praying to Allah and he get himself ready to pray to Allah. And now shaitan, the faith is shaitan, son of Muta. He come from his back, brother, and he take hair from his bum. What a bum protection from Allah. Shouldn't Allah protect you Muslims from the shaitan to play? And how come shaitan he play only with the anus of Muslims? Ah, because they are the true believers. <laughs> See, he don't target the Christian anus. Thank God our anus is safe. Uh, sorry, I mean, thank Allah. So based on this cult, if you are a Christian or a Hindu or a Buddha or an atheist, you are safe and you do not need any insurance for your anus. If you are a Muslim, well, I feel sorry for you. Your anus is a target. Okay, tell us more, Sheikh, about the <clears throat> what you believe. You know, and look, look, look how excited he is. I mean, the belief is coming from his face, left and right. He's dripping belief. But Sheikh, I'm so happy that you are sitting on the chair because that will prevent Shaitan, at least for now, from playing with your anus. But if you go to the bathroom, ah, we have a video about the bathroom. We, we can play it later. Remind me. Uh, tell us, uh, tell us uh, Sheikh. Hmm. Because I believe in the Quran. Uh -huh. I believe in Muhammad, alayhi salatu our messenger, and hmm. I believe in the existence of Allah. Oh. So anything else is by default. Therefore, yeah, by default, Shaitan take care from your anus. By default, Shaitan he sleep on your nose. By default, Shaitan he round himself around your penis. And when you when when you have sleep with your wife, it's by default. Everything by default. Yeah. When we wake up, yeah. we sniff water up our nostrils nostrils three times mm. and blow it out. Yeah. Why? We blow out the Shaitan. See, you you have to blow out the Shaitan. Uh, uh, brother, I have a question. If you have a flu, do shaitan stay there too? Maybe, you know what? Maybe he like it like, you know, like he like it wet. <laughs> he will be like taking like, it's like a jacuzzi for him there. Like, you know, like when you have a flu, brother. So shaitan is there now? Hmm. Hey, hey, brother, when I woke up today, I did not do that. Like blew it up three times. So do you think Shaitan is right now there? Hey, all of you, we have. Well, where is everybody? Why we have only less than a thousand watching? What's wrong with you people? If this is a program about tips and stick, we will have more. Like hello. So brother, sisters, I want you to take selfie immediately. I try to zoom in your nose. Let us get the proof. If you are a Muslim and you wanted to get the Christian busted, all what you need to do, take a selfie of your nose when you wake up in the morning. Don't blow your nose there yet, you know. Don't, but by the way, don't use dynamite to blow it. <laughs> don't. Also, a side belt or, you know, just water. Water. He said water. He didn't say TNT, you know. Come on. Hey, ISIS. Uh, 
Wow. That's so good. By default. By default. Yeah. Therefore. Therefore. When we wait. Like, hold, hold on. You know, the, the default is, therefore, is killing me. I, look at the logic. Look, look, see, you see that? You see how they connect the logic? Like, therefore. I mean, he made a presentation for you. Therefore, now, now it's time to put the, the it, now it's time for therefore. Before, we can say therefore. Now we can say it because it's clear now. It's clear. Therefore, yeah, therefore what? Wake up. We sniff water up our nostrils, nostrils uh -huh. three times. Three times. And blow it out. Mm. Why? The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Oh, over? Over. Now I know. You know, once, uh, you know, like uh, I was like at work and there is a, a girl, she said to me, come and sleep over. I don't know what she meant by that. I thought she is being dirty. I got upset from her. But she was saying to me, come and sleep in my nose. Like, I should call her right now and apologize. How in the world I know, you know, English is not my first language, so I, she said, come and sleep over. I thought about it in a different way. But it turned to me that she's asking me, because before she said to me, you little devil. <laughs> now connect the dots, you little devil. Come sleep over. I got it. She was inviting me to sleep in her nose. And because I am a Middle Eastern who have a dirty minded, I thought about it in wrong way. But she was decent invitation. Absolutely. Don't the Muslim they say Christian Prince is Shaitan? <laughs> By default, huh? Mm. We sniff water up our nostrils, nostrils three times and mm. <clears throat> blow it out. Why? The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our... I mean, those guys in the chat, they are desperate to see what the guy will say next. And this guy, Christian Prince, he keeps stopping the video. I mean, you know what? You will be the most horrible person to play a movie for your friends. Don't give them the remote control. Like, come on. How many times you stop that guy? He said before you stop the video. And those people are waiting like, and they are eating popcorn. Like, you know, I want to see what will happen next. <laughs> Like, what will happen after therefore? Like, therefore, like, come on, let the movie play. What's wrong with this guy? You know, don't go to the movie with the Christian prince. Actually, I have a cousin of mine. He's a cousin, you know, an Arab cousin. Uh, you know, he went to the movie first time. He came from the movie. Ask, we asked him, how you like it? He says, hey, 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 hey. By the time I finished saying assalamu alaikum and shaking hands, the movie was over. Like, Abdul, don't do that. It's our tradition. When you go to place, you have to shake hands with everybody. So he went to the movie. He starts, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Shake hands. Assalamu alaikum. And people say to him, sit down, sit down. Assalamu alaikum. Eh, the movie is over by the time he finished shaking hands. So now he said he will explain to us. But until now, he is just sake shaking hands by default. So anything else is by default. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when we wake up, I mean, this, this I'm sorry, guys, this therefore is killing me. <laughs> Continue, I will let it go now. I'm trying to resist not to stop with therefore. Up. We sniff water up our nostrils, nostrils three times and blow it out. Mm. Why? The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps uh -huh. over our nostrils. Uh -huh. Did you see that? No. no, but you believe it and do it. Exactly. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time. Satan urinates in their ears. Stop. Satan, he urinate in their ears. Here we need to do more study. I mean, serious study. I want you to focus with me in this picture. Perfect. We found a perfect picture. <clears throat> One. 
Once upon the time, there was a brother, his name is Zakarnaik. He slept, he was late to pray. But why? How? What happened? What is behind it? How such a horrible thing happened to our brother? The answer is very simple. Not very, I mean, eh, we will try to make it uh, very simple. Shaitan, I will make Shaitan look like a balloon this time, you know. Look, what the heck, he looks like a mouse now. Let me use like more thick. And don't make him white, the Muslim will be upset, only the Prophet is white. Uh, let us make him... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, red, red, red. Even though in Islam, shaitan is always black because Islam is not racist. Uh, and let us make it in the Islamic color. Uh, I mean, this drawing is horrible. You see, because, you know, last time I was teaching a guy, his name is Picasso, about how to draw. And since then, I did not draw anything, you know, so like, I'm not really, but I thought, you know, as you know, you know the thing. So this is Shaitan. <clears throat> this is his horn. This is his face. This is his body. And this is his legs. And this is his tail. Shaitan, brother. He go to the ears of Zakarnaik when he sleep. And if you look actually at the shape of the ears, subhanAllah, they look like a toilet seat. And Shaitan, he grab his private part and he dip it inside the ear of Zakarnaik. And then Now, Zach and Nag, by the way, his ear is big, so he like he can take extra piss. And now Zach and Nag, like Shaitan, now he go, like he do it, he go to sleep in the nose because remember, he piss in the ears and he sleep in the nose, which makes sense. I mean, the bathroom have to be so close to the place you sleep in. I mean, do you see the logic? The shaitan he sleep here like those those are the foot of shaitan coming from the nose of Zakir Naik when he's praying, he's sleeping. And those are his fingers, like this is the toes, you know, and the fingers of uh, shaitan. And you know, this is like the charger of shaitan coming from the nose because he used iPad, you know, connected to the under the bed of Zakir Naik. It makes sense. Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. Where he will go? I mean, you wake up in the middle of the night. Where you go? I know an Arabian friend. He, uh, you know, he very heavy sleeper. You know, uh, I don't know if Shaitan he slept. I mean, he he piss in his ears or something, or maybe his eyes. So he go to the bathroom. He come back. After he come back, he remember something. He said, uh, "Honey." Uh, when we go to the bathroom, do the light on, open the door of the bathroom, do the light turn on automatically? She said, no, honey, that is the refrigerator. <laughs> True story. So, obviously, Shaitan is a heavy sleeper. He sleep in your nose until he need to go. And then he go, look like where I will do it, where I will do it, where I will do it. I mean, come on, it's very obvious. You sleep on your side, your ears look perfectly like a toilet seat. He sit on it like, hey, by the way, he, he only urine, he don't do poo poo. I mean, I'm really suspecting that he only do urine. I mean, what this guy, like, are you saying, Shaitan, he, he's, uh, he's like, he, he, he pee only? 
Je dois me dire popo. Popo. True story. If you did not convert to Islam after all of this, I feel sorry for you. I mean, all those are very convincing proofs that Muhammad is a true prophet of Allah. And as you see, they are not saying that this is weak, this is garbage, this is not a true. They believe in it because simply they are sure that Muhammad, he said that. And as long as they are sure that Muhammad, he said that, so you better be sure too. And because you are going to be sure too, now we are all of us sure that Muhammad is an idiot of the village and he is making fun of those stupid ignorant who don't have any sense of, uh, not a humor, of logic. What happened, Sheikh? That, no, but you believe it and do it. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. Have you felt the urine? So, uh, look, look at the question. Look at the question, how deep it is. Deep as the, as the, as the urine is deep. Have you felt the urine? <whistles> Here we learn something new about the urine of Shaitan. It's unfeltable. What kind of English this English is? Yes, brother. Have you feel the urine of Shaitan? No. Why? Because it is not unfeltable. Un Guys, have you ever seen somebody speak English better than me? Honestly, be careful. I mean, come on. I'm I'm sure all like all the Arab in the world they would be proud about me to be the one who did beat every like unfiltable just add this word to the dictionary if it's not there yet so it is not an, it is unfiltable okay hmm. it's unfelt able to make it simple for those who they are feeling it's so much complicated because you are slow so it is unfelt able to feel the pain of shaitan. Yeah, Abdul. So why we cannot feel it? I mean, do you think it's like so light? Is it like, a, you know, the, the gas that is like 96, 97, 90, I mean, is it so light? I mean, is that like airplane pee? Airplane gas? How come we cannot feel it, brother? do it those who oversleep and not pray fajr on time satan urinates in their ears hmm. have you felt the urine so, no, no no i haven't seen satan to be uh, to to feel his urine likewise when you wear one pair of shoes stop here we are talking about joe biden youtube will take our channel what are you talking about we jump from the shaitan urinating in our ears to wearing one pair of shoes? Please, don't tell me that if I wear one pair of shoes, something wrong will happen to me. One pair of shoes? Are we going to go there for real? Brother, we have a festival in town. It says one pair of shoe. People walk on the street wearing one pair of shoe. What will happen to them? People, are you excited to learn what will happen if you wear one pair of shoes? Okay, as long as you are excited to hear it, we will go back to default. <laughs> is a mind gold he said wait I, I can't see anything you will not believe me but when allah tells us that there are angels around us there are jinn around us there is heaven and hell with so many things in them there is torment in the grave we say we believe we believe people say believe in what are you crazy are you crazy can you see anything no but i can believe and relate because I believe in the Quran, I believe in Muhammad alayhi salatu our messenger, and mm. I believe in the existence of Allah. Mm. So anything else is 
by default. Hmm. Therefore, therefore, when we wake up, yeah. we sniff water up our nostrils, nostrils three times hmm. and blow it out. Yeah. Why? Why? The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Hmm. Did you see that? Hmm. No, but you believe it and do it. No. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. Have you felt the urine? So, no, no, I haven't seen Satan to, be, uh, to, to feel his urine. Likewise, when you wear one pair of shoes and walk barefooted with the other foot, yeah. this is the way that Shaitan walks. I have That's it, I need to go. This is how Shaitan he walk? And I was wondering why once, you know, uh, in my house, in my place, I leave my shoes out. I don't get inside. Nobody allowed to get inside the house with the shoes. So once I woke up and I found one pair of shoes of mine there. And I was saying to myself, who in the world want to take one pair of shoe? I mean, is he stupid or what? I mean, why did not take the both? I mean, it's not useful. But now, finally, it was Shaitan. It was Shaitan. Because Shaitan is the only one who wear one pair of shoes. This is how he walk. He like it. Awkward. Awkward Shaitan. Disgusting, stupid idiot. You know nothing about fashion, you Shaitan. I mean, I want to know which fashion designer, because these days fashion is so crazy, they call it fashion, but in fact, it is, it's farting. Yeah. Who is the fashion, you see women wearing like a garbage bag, and some they have feather in their head, some they have tail, I mean, without Halloween, you know, Halloween, now we have a 24 uh, month, uh, 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 a year, 24 month, I mean, this is what we're, is the year have 12 months only Quran says 24 months so you have to say so brother and sisters shaitan look at the finger look, look hold on here we have to take a note do you see how serious the topic is do you see this finger when you see this finger it doesn't mean that somebody is fingering you. You know, I was driving in the highway. This is a long time ago, like long, long, long time ago. And it looked like I was a slow, you know, I just came to USA and like I'm trying to figure out how to drive on those highway. And everybody was like putting his hand out. And I said, man, I'm so famous. Everybody's saying hello to me. But it was a finger. And then I discovered like this was a very friendly, to welcome a stranger in the country. But since then I drive faster, I promise you. <laughs> By the way, this is a true story, Sahih Bukhari. So now, brother, we discover that Shaitan, he do something. What he shot in Shaitan, he do? Satan to be, uh, to, to feel his urine. Likewise, when you wear one pair of shoes and walk barefooted with the other foot, this is, the way that shaitan walks. I haven't seen the shaitan, but the prophet told me this and I believe in it. This is the- Hey brother, do you know how shaitan, I mean, did, did the prophet see, do, do the prophet have a picture of shaitan? As long as shaitan is invisible, how come he is invisible to all of you, but not invisible to Muhammad? And how come Muhammad, he saw him? I mean, okay, what if Muhammad, he saw him, the guy, he was like, he, he, he sent one pair of shoes to fix it to the guy who fixed it. This is why he always wearing one. Or maybe Shaitan is a poor guy. Maybe he can't afford to have two. But, you know, I'm really disappointed of Shaitan. Because all what Shaitan he need to do is to go to the mosque and steal some shoes. In case you do not know, Muslims, they lose their shoes when they go to the mosque. 